some of the harmful effects of taking medicines that are placed under harsh conditions. So, medicines sold under such conditions, for example, if I take medicines, put it in the bucket, the sun, when the sun strikes the medicines directly, the heat from the sun alone has some effect on the medicines. Medicines actually from the manufacturer are sold under certain conditions. For example, if I present a medicines pack to you, you will see on that pack store below, for example, store below 30 degrees Celsius, or store below 25 degrees Celsius, or even store below, some medicines are stored between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius on a coaching environment. Some medicines are stored at room temperature, exactly around 25 degrees Celsius. So, most tablets that we take are stored at around 25 degrees Celsius, room temperature. And some other medicines are being stored, as I said, between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, in directly in the coaching. The medicines stored on a certain environment should not be changed. You should not take the medicine that store around 25 degrees Celsius and store it around 50 degrees Celsius. Now, once you do that, you are destroying the medicines. Medicines are actually chemical compounds. Now, for those who do chemistry, you understand chemical compounds. Chemical compound has the ability to transform, to carry on chemical reaction, changing from one form to another. So even Water alone can destroy the medicines. Monster, not just heavy water, just a monster. When you place the medicines, for example, in your bed, and maybe a rain that day, and water come on the bed, maybe the, the, the bed gets wet. The medicines, when you count on monster, they can even destroy the medicine because when the medicines part get wet, bacteria and other things will grow in that medicine. And that medicine is being taken. Once you introduce that medicine to your system, you are adding bacteria, you are adding other harmful chemicals to your system. Now, for example, if I take tablets and put it on a, a harsh condition, put it in the body and pass it around an entire day, I will be subjecting it to a certain temperature. Now, those medicines will lose the strength that the strength of the medicines is for the therapeutic effect of the medicines. So if I take that medicines, put it under that condition, I will actually be reducing or destroying the therapeutic effect of that medicines, destroying the strength of that medicines. So for example, if I take amoxicillin, amoxicillin is an antibiotic. It is in the class penicillin. If I take that medicine, take amoxicillin, put it in the bucket, close the bucket. Amoxicillin should be stored below 25 degrees Celsius. Take it, put it in the bucket, and the bucket temperature is around 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. And I take that medicines from the bucket, and then bring water and swallow it. Maybe I will take it in for some infection. Now what you'll be doing is that, that medicine will not work. So instead of taking maybe 500 milligrams of moxicillin three times a day, you might even take it for, you might even take it five, six times a day. Maybe even 1,000 milligrams up to four, five times a day. It will still not work. And you will not only be, it will not only be for you because, for example, if you take that medicine for infection and the medicine do not work properly, you will be, you will be allowing that infection to even get worse. That even if you go and take the better medicines, you take even good medicines from the pharmacy, it might still, the bacteria that maybe you are fighting against, but even build certain resistance. We have something we call antimicrobial resistance. It might even build certain resistance to that medicines and even destroy the effectiveness of the medicine, good medicines you might take afterwards. Now, NHRA is the medicine regulatory authority responsible 
to register medicine. So all medicines coming in the country have to be registered. So NMHRA will register the medicines, evaluate the medicines. <clears throat> After evaluation of the medicines, NMHRA take that medicines to the testing center, where we call the quality control lab. NMHRA will carry on testing, quality control testing of that medicines. The medicine must pass the quality control test before it is brought on the market for use. Now, but if I sell my medicine in the market, my medicine is more regulated. I might even go red guinea, I pass guinea, I get some medicines, some fake medicines, and bring it. The medicines might be out of fake, or it might not be even effective. That's what we call out of falsified medicines or substandard medicines. So, the medicines are not passing through the system. Most of the medicines are not even registered by animation. The medicines are not tested. So once the medicine is not tested, you take your medicines, medicines are in uh, no account. Now, if medicines can also cause what we call side effects or adverse effects. Now, sometimes when people take surgery, for example, it causes any adverse effects. Some people, when they take surgery, it, it, it will cause some blister or something on the skin. All right, so. I will just take a break. We are privileged to have the managing director, pharmacist Ketura Smith. She's here with us. That's the managing director of the medicines regulatory body. So she's here with us, Honorable Ketura Smith. So we have to break and give our boss the chance to be able to speak to us. And then afterwards, we'll come back to sum it up. So pharmacist Smith, you are most welcome. Are you ready? We are privileged to see you here today. So please, I just clap for her. She's the head of the Hello. NMHRA. Yeah. Your and yeah, so folks, and the guests joining us, we'd like to say welcome to Spoon TV. We are live at the William V. S. Tottenham House School, where the LMHRA uh, is here conducting some uh, awareness campaign Hello. on educating Young Liberians, the students. It's so much joy and pleasure to be on this this Let's morning. go back into the program. I can see the young faces. So happy to see a young lady. And I know one day, a managing director will come from Top and High. Can I get a clap for that? <laughs> Minister of Health, Public Works, will definitely come from Public. We all know that it's not easy. High school is one of the most difficult tasks. But with determination, we believe that definitely you can excel, right? That's why we chose to start the dissemination message from here. Because we believe there are so many different families, tribal backgrounds, different thoughts, and, and the rest of it. So we believe that with the little message we have from the Liberia Medicines and Health Products Regulatory Authority, it will be well understood by you and will also be delivered to your family members that buy medicines from streets, peddlers, on market tables, is very harmful for our health. I know before this program, most of us didn't know the harmful effects. But from this program and from what will be demonstrated by the comedians, you will be able to tell your friends, neighbors, and family members, and even yourself, because I know some of you do buy medicines from tables, from drug peddlers, from bucket sellers. And I can also say that we also have drug peddlers amongst you because of the hustle. Sometimes after school, you buy a little paracetamol, you put it in the bucket, you have to look for your school 
Krishna. And then you go and sell. But we are here so they to discourage you. And tell your family members also not to buy from them. It's very harmful. The sum that the session of mercy can make it poisonous and can affect your system. So we are encouraging you to help us spread this message that going forward, those are selling masses on the market tables and in the buckets, they need to find another business to do, not to destroy our health. Do you all agree with me? So please help us. We want to see a positive result. We don't want you to see our inspectors trying to get at these drug peddlers and then you two trying to defend them because it always happens. Sometimes when we go red like other places, our inspectors try to prevent them from selling. You will see a very market people say, why are they selling the children? They don't know the effects of these things. That's why we came to this level to tell you the message and the harmful effect of this business. So with the lesson I have said, I want to encourage you to stick around and listen to the message from the comedians and the professional people that are here. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay. Happy thank you to Madame Yatora Smith, the managing director of the Labira Maxine and Health Product Regulatory Authority. We much I do, I like to recognize, I mean, you just saw the arrival of uh, the Inspector General, Mr. Tito Besso. And I'm too easy to grace this program as well. Uh, along with me, and uh, that is Mr. Imanawili. My only, of course, is one of the senior stars at LMHRA. Of course, he's here as well to, I mean, grace his vocation. Two gentlemen, you guys are welcome. At this time, we will, I mean, create the indulgence of you students. This is the interactive part of this program. You listen to the MD. I mean, if you have your concern, you have your questions and questions and suggestions, just by what she said, you could just walk to me and handle the microphone and ask and raise your concern. It will be addressed adequately. So any student that have, I mean, concern, we take the microphone to you and then your concern will be answered. And so you just listening to the managing director. And so at this point will be uh, questions and answer. Interaction between the students of Tottenham High as, as well as the um, managing director. So, folks, if you just joining us, we'd like to say welcome, keep following us. Yes, sir. Wow. You get to me? Life courage. Let me hear some noise in the building. You get to me? No sleeping. I told you, education, man, of salvation, she equal to certain destruction. So it's good that you get educated about all the things you hear. They have uh, the director of LMHRA, she just came from there, she will give it to you. And next time to yourself, to you will give it with her. No, let me tell you, behind her wave can say there's an all down. Behind her wave can. There's a nest of a on stand by. in the hand there. They cheese. They cheese. And when they got yoke. So now, I want to advise you. You have to be careful. Careful. Fabric lab is important. You will never know until you get sick. Sometimes our own sets are high in there that Rami made us say, let you know we're talking here. It's not passing through some people here to the other side, to the other side. But take it in. Advance yourself. 
the one I am in, they say I must say I call it national anthem of the Bira in Ghana. They force me when I went Ghana to go do where I am in Ghana. I'm a girl at Jesus. The Ghana guy said I must sing Ghanaian national anthem first before I sing the Dabira national anthem. Here the Ghanaian one. God bless our home in Ghana and make our nation great with strong. A poor to defend we ever the cause of feeling on our way. Feel our highway to you, you need it. Make us fearless, fearless, homeless, and have us so reasons of pressure. We are one and must have a good. You care to me? Listen to that piano. Oh, hill, it's not a coup. Oh, hill, that peer, hill. Oh, hill. Oh, hill, that peer, hill. Oh, hill, in Jamaica, your job. No, you're stopping. Bring pass a job, you're not going to job. No fat job, no asset job. Give me a job, job, job. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Tell me. What they want, 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 When I say you see one fake, say you turn cool. When I say you see one hair color, say you turn color. When I say you see one OPT, say you turn coolers. You see one thing you turn. You see one hair color you turn. You see one OPT you turn. The name is my own child, Mr. Benet. Yeah. I'm going to go. 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 I'm to go. I'm going 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 to go. And the people will be to you free. So if you're talking here, of course you'll be laughing at things. But be taking some key key note in. So right after the program tomorrow when you go home, or today when you go home, when they ask you what they all based on that people or whatever, you want able to say something. Yes, so we'll be asking questions. So the whole talking at day, be taking some note. Be taking some key key thing for you all talking. Yes. So before giving you the juice, I will tell you, don't take medicine from the body. Don't take medicine from the side wall. Take medicine from in the just I'm talking about the only in the just but just to will come into risk. I mean just to. You know when you enter just to, you can know that just to, right? For the AC and T, the fan, you know the same from the just to. Don't come enter just to, get a person that said you have medicine. I know what you will go out the same company. I want an ambush, I will sell you a tail. So, because of the time, going to question, I will give you one cheese. Somebody say, I want you a cheese. You know, I want you to have it. Now, I got a no say, I need to bluff. And you say, I know from ABC when you enter 12 way, like your bluffing time. When I enter 12 way, I have time 2012, 2013. When I'm passing over my tie, you come in feature, I say hello. That my tie can use to speak. She said, Father, I say, how you do? Say that again, we say, when I come to school, I don't hear the tassel, so it will be that day because it will be sitting too much, let me wait for it. But I'm never new, it will be 12 years, 12 years, they hit. The play can tell you that 12 years, they hit. They win before you can go for a while. And the play can say 12 years, they hit it. 
Well, I'm aching to watch one scripture and say, oh, ladies and gentlemen, next week we're going for the riot. You know the school that was in the school there, the church, the church, the pastor, the pastor, the woman to the mall. That's kind of school that was in St. Margaret. So, the woman that came in the car, what can you say when you walk on Division 1? You need to camp in the church. I hear you say, if you walk on Division 1, you need to camp in the church. I was the first in secret. Now, man, for that camp. I think I got a no say they think what they call a naughty or a jet and who all. I'm going for a whole and who all tea. She pray very for her and now I'm taking no off. She can't she said it and she said we're a naughty or. When I'm feeling with her, you're all come to be shown one. My name is going to tell you, I was the first one in love. You're going to bring a whole bottle. Any other pee bottle? She will turn me. You will make it in Jesus' name. She will turn me. I said, I'm going to grease all the next morning. My whole shoe was shiny. Now how we are you not yet? Chris say what? But that thing I tell you, I don't know who enter the hall out of 400 students. One day I go put me in trouble where they got. They get more now of face, he say, fine game. And you see that boy like, looking, Chris say all the other fish are good. My friend say, yeah, say that he get all the answers. Out of 400 students, only one person get all the answers. Now that thing I tell you, I don't know. But when I pass you, you can see the children. Future. We just said that he get all the answers. You know how to shout out and clean You don't speak. I know how to get the answer, but they wouldn't worry. Oh, I'm here, you know. Everyone said, I had to tell you, I said, yes, oh, but the person I tell you is smart. I didn't want to get all the answers. I never brought it. Take it in. Now, when I pass when you see the future, you want to help us, I will help you. When I pass when you see the future, you want to help us, I will help you. I'm not saying why that inspection yourself. So we enter the hall, the product will say, I'm lazy, gentlemen, this is a whole claim. Don't go play until after 15 minutes. Do not erase, don't look back and front, or else you disqualify. I'll freeze in my chair. <laughs> Before that 15 minutes, you can see all our army are too bad, shy. You know, you get answer in the middle of 400 students. Now, I'm passing, you can see the future. You want help? I start with help to you. You don't run away. Answer in the body. Ma, after the 15 minutes, the product came. I'm um, ladies and gentlemen, you can open your book, you know, and start answering questions. When I open my book, like, man, I can't tell you from number one to who ground no one. Very embarrassing. Take a minute going to test, and then one answer you, and the whole hall waiting for me. Very embarrassing. But they get plus to the laboring girls. I can go to school, the guy to go to college, to working. They are our boss lady. I salute you. But like one girl, when she says she does, she does. I clear go. Can't tell me again nothing. One day I'll be able to call Jerry. I can stay with money. When they want answer for you, when you call you, call you, now I want answer again. Change your name. First, she decided to say features. I don't hear you say features. No. I don't hear you say drag it down. Features. Features. I don't hear you say drag it in the go way. Feature or two. So I turn around and say, man, what happened? She said, help me with number one. I don't even hesitate. I said, number one, I eat. She went to the table, I said, zoom. I said, hold this one, zoom. She said, take it, feature, number two. I said, number two, that B. She went to the table again, zoom. She said, take it again, number three. I said, number three, that C. So I came on number three, she said, go C. She called one of her friends. Don't get two. Everybody say, oh, we don't come close to a feature of the oh, I want to do a door here. We won't have to get They said number four, I said number four at D. They want to start with D, but they don't know how to take it from A, H, K, to Z. They play the tail load and I told number five. They said, please have a word number five. I said number five at D. They said, ah, we're not seeing it here. I said, you're pretty much about to eat. You see what they did? Yeah. You are saying, what? That was my parents have figured out. And some of you guys who normally like go to church and you just jump on and go sit down in chair. Be careful. Some of the church, they can, they can get crazy people in the church. I went to some of the church that I, to the pastor said, in Jesus' name, oh, my God, she said, Holy Spirit, catch up. Or, oh, oh, in Jesus' name, she go to. So she did that. Then she hit me. I said, no. I want for your demon to enter me. Pastor, please change my neighbor. So I really look at your neighbor. You can say neighbor. Look at your neighbor. Nana, look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. 
on a first Sunday at Ari. Newa say Newa. You are beautiful. Ordinary me, I go low my own and never ask someone. So I look at the pass online, or they want to be beautiful. You get it to me? We will go strictly to our questions and answer, and we want you to answer our question. You got a question, go to the mark there, go to the, the guy behind the computer and get your question. We want to ask you, we got carpet project, we got flyers, we got sticker. For all of the information we are giving you, we want you to respond to. Because I listen, learn, respond. That's it. And equally, you will win. We got carpet book here. So the carpet book, we say before you win the carpet book, you will spell. That I think maybe I move on in English class. I went in reading class. Soon they say spelling, I can go in reading class. You got my English teacher? Yeah. My English teacher came to me and said, What I got defined now? I said, Now nah, is the name of a person playing with a team. Who play with a team? Sequel two, two, Zabi, Tembo, Ten, Ten, Kemboe. Those are people that are playing with a team. Now we will ask you for you to, one person, anybody, a male or a female, can answer a question. What the meaning of L M R A? L M H R A. L M H R A. Please define it. Keep to come down. Because when I hear you, you can stay all the other, you can stay there and we go with you. Increase of it, that's the meaning of it. The meaning of LMHRA. LMHRA, what's the meaning of it? Yo, yeah, yeah. Please calm down, my brother. Please calm down. Okay, we got one question from the phone. For copy books, let's take another one. What is the awareness about? What are we here? What are we here for? Why are we come here for to talk to you? Why? There's a why. Somebody on this side, one male, one female, and kind of man called your power that you have come. Why are we here for? All the female they can't answer question. Why are we here for? Which class is in? 10 T. Please go there. You see one OPT. There you go. If you're just joining us, we like to say welcome to Spawn TV. We are live at the Widom Vias Totman High School where uh, the coming back, coming back a bit. And so we are live at the well, on the Stockman High School, where the Liberia Medicine and Health Products 
uh, Regulatory Authority, LMHRE, uh, is here conducting uh, awareness and campaign on the sale of drugs in the bucket at the marketplaces that are now regulated by the LMHRA. And so we we want to speak with the uh, managing director as we await her uh, very shortly. As we await her, we would like to hear a few words from her and how long this uh, campaign seems to go on. And so if you just join us, please bear with us as we are with the managing director uh, so that we can get a few questions. So that we can be able to ask a few questions and get a response. Uh, Good morning, man. And for the sake of our audience, can you please introduce yourself? Okay, so why are we here? We we see you uh, speaking with the students. Uh, why are we here? So we thought it wise to bring awareness to the school level. Two years ago, we went to marketplaces just to talk about the danger of buying medicines from market tables and buckets. So we thought it wise to use this target population to disseminate the even information on the danger of buying medicines from buckets and market tables. That's why we are here. And so, uh, from the flyers, I see this as a campaign. So, how long this uh, campaign will be on? It's a 10 day campaign. And so, what will be your next target or uh, your next venue for this uh, program? The, the next venue will be which school? Which high school? We wish high school. However, since the high school is about to open, we want to make sure to do like two schools every day in the next 10 days. So, the next one will be which high school? We just want to make sure that the schools that we go to are very populated so that information can be widespread. So, like, so how many schools are you talking about? About 30. Mm -hmm. so, like, say, I want to tell the schools. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in different locations, in most of different locations, Bensonville, Beansville, Douala, try to spread it out so that I can reach the population that we need to hear the message. So uh, from the, the, the names of school you just called, they are all of uh, uh, high school, mm -hmm. is it so? Art? High school. High school. Also have so the what's about the university? No, we also have the university as well. We have UL, we have AMU, Capture. So uh, you are making this awareness, uh, letting the public know on what to do, what not to do. So what if, uh, what measure are you putting in place to prevent people uh, from selling jobs that are not being regulated by you? Right after this campaign, the Zero Drug Peddling campaign, we're going to start a vigorous inspection in Mosera, not only in Mosera, but in the various counties, making sure that we get rid of these drug peddlers. Even though it's kind of difficult because at the end of the day, once you seize their products, they still go back on the street. So we're trying to target it from the border points because most times, the best that they sell are mainly from, they mainly get it from our neighboring countries. So we have our offices, we have our sub offices at Kansas Border, we have our sub offices at whole water side where once they, they, they are caught their products are confiscated and taken to our office and are later on incinerated or burned so that's all the measures we are trying to put in place but I just started why so reach out to the public first because most times people don't know the harmful effects of this kind of medicines so at least they can know when they see our inspectors getting at these people they won't try to hinder us there are several occasions where our inspectors go out to get at these people and even the ordinary citizens try to stop us from doing our work. So at least when they see this kind of message, they will understand what the LMHRA is about. Lastly, uh, what are those punishments for one who is being caught uh, selling drugs in a bucket? So 
that's the weakness that we have as an authority. We basically just we don't go on inspection without the police because we don't have that um, right to imprison any one of them. So we go along with the police and basically what we can just do is to seize their products. We can't go beyond that. That's the reason why you see drug pedaling is kind of slow. It's, it's not ready to get off the, uh, the streets because the, our laws are kind of weak on them. But we are being hopeful that um, the legislature will try to improve on the laws where we enforce no policies to get rid of them. Are there been recommendations to the legislature on the laws concerning this? Yeah, there, there have been recommendations. First of all, we want to first try to amend the acts that uh, um, developed the LMHRA because there are a lot of weak policies within the acts and we want to understand why probably at that time, 2010, there are no there are much uh, there are no much uh, drug peddlers in the streets. But now we see it like a nuisance in our society. So we're trying to work it out with the legislature to see how we can strengthen some of these laws and policies. You say your name again? Katra Smith Chin. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for having me. Okay. And so you just listened to the managing director there from the from the Liberia Medicine and Health Products Regulatory Authority there speaking to Spoon TV. And so on this and so on this note folks, this is how we like to say bye bye for now. Keep following us as we bring you more happenings in and around Liberia. Once again, my name is Francis. Antigua, do have yourself a wonderful time. Bye-bye.